Hi, in this video I'll show you how to play PSP games on Android smartphone or tablet. Open your internet browser. Navigate to WP S double P dot org. Go. Tab on download. Scroll down. Search for Android section. You can download the app from Play Store. Or directly from here. Hit OK. Once the file has been downloaded, tab on it. Tab on Settings. Enable and non sources. Allow this installation only. OK. Install. Done. Now, let's download PSP game. Search for the title of the game you want to download, followed by PSP and Nico blog. Go. Make sure the website you are trying to download from has HTTPS protocol. Currently, Cedar Romance is one of many websites that hosts a lot of games. Scroll down. Tab on Show Download Links. There will be a security test to make sure you are not a robot. It's better to download from Google Drive. I've already downloaded the file. The file will be compressed, so you have to have an application to extract the ISO file of the game. The archiver application is just fine for this purpose. If you don't have it, go to Play Store and install it from there. Once you have it, open it. Navigate to Download folder. The game may have two or more parts, so make sure to select all parts. Just tap once on the first part. Select Extract here. OK. Now you have the ISO file of the game, and it's ready to play. Open the PSP emulator. Give the emulator permission to access storage. Allow. To locate the games, tab on Games tab. The ISO file is stored in download folder. And that's it. You're ready to play. But before playing, there are some settings I found useful to adjust in order to get better gameplay performance. Change frame skipping from off to one. Adjust alternative speed from unlimited to 365. 
Okay. Enable immersive mode. Enable lazy texture caching. Turn on disable slower effects. Change Bezier curves quality from high to low. Change texture filtering to use linear. That's it for the graphics. For the audio part, change audio latency from medium to low. Adjust global volume to 8. Now, go to System Panel. Change Input Output Timing Method from Fast to simulate UMD delays. I think this is it for now. Back. Enjoy the game with better performance. That's all. I hope it was easy to follow and helpful. Thanks for watching.